Hi everyone and welcome to this hands-on session on Google Cloud Platform. I am Maham Tariq from Skill Curve and in this lab we will learn about and practice Google Cloud Functions. Cloud Function is a serverless execution environment for building and connecting cloud services where you can write simple single purpose functions that are triggered when a specific event occurs. One such event is a Google Cloud PubSub. A cloud PubSub is triggered by a message published to a PubSub topic and subscribers can subscribe to that specific topic. Let us go through the basic steps that we are going to perform during this lab. After logging into your Google account, open Google Console and activate Cloud Shell, where we are going to write our function. After we are done creating a function, we will create a storage bucket to deploy that function. When the function gets successfully deployed, we will test if the function is publishing any message and in the end we will view and observe the logs. You should be logged into your Google account to start the lab. When you click on start lab, you will be given temporary credentials to sign in and use real cloud environment of Google Cloud. We will be performing this lab on Google console, so click on open Google console button. It will redirect you to the sign in page. Use the credentials given on the left side to log into the cloud. Click I understand button. It should open the Google Cloud dashboard. Click on agree and continue. The next step is to activate Cloud Shell. It will open the console screen. The console screen will take some time to load and we will open it into a new window so that it is more visible. So we will start by writing the gcloud config list command. This command will return the project ID of this lab. This step is optional, it is okay to skip. Now our project ID is returned. Now to create a function we will write a make directory command first following the directory name. After we are done making the directory, we will move into the directory using change directory command. The next step is to create a JavaScript file where we will write our function. We will do this with nano command. Nano is a simple command line text editor. We will copy our code here. This function takes event data and event context as parameters, encodes the data and returns my cloud function hello world in the log. Exit the editor using Ctrl plus X key, press Y to save the file. Now let's create a cloud bucket. Buckets are basically containers to hold data in cloud. We will use my bucket command for this. The bucket name should be unique. Okay, we will name our bucket MT123, authorize. Now we will test if our bucket has been made successfully. It is. The next step is to deploy the function. As this is an event driven function, we will specify a trigger topic while deploying. And rename the bucket name with our bucket name which is MT123. Copying it just in case it doesn't work, we will rerun the command. We can see an active status here. It indicates that the function has been deployed successfully. Now we will test this task. We can see the active status here too. Let's test this task. In the end, we will view the logs. Note down the execution ID. Now we will run the read log command. We can see many outputs with our execution ID in the log. This marks the end of the lab. I hope you found this lab useful. Please leave us a comment and share your experience in running this lab with us. See you next time.